How does a keto diet affect the gallbladder? Does the high fat content harm the gallbladder in the long run? Does it call, cause gallstones? Uh, what if you don't have a gallbladder? Can you still do a keto diet? These are the questions we're gonna try and answer in this video. All right, so the gallbladder is just a small organ. It sits underneath your liver, and its job is to hold bile. It actually concentrates the bile in between your meals, and the purpose of the bile that it's holding is to break down fat in your meal, right? So if you eat something fatty, the gallbladder contracts and, and uh, squirts in the bile. Uh, I like to think of bile as a substance that takes big fat globules and breaks them into little fat globules. Uh, if you can think of like greasy dishwater and you put new dish detergent in it, that's kind of what the bile is does. It, it just breaks up all the little uh, into little fat globules. Right. So gallstones are actually just like what they sound like. They're little stone formations that occur inside the gallbladder. And we talked about the bile concentrating over time. Mm -hmm. And that over concentration can actually lead to these stone formations. And the stones are typically just hard deposits of calcium that, that are in there. Now you've probably heard that, that a high fat diet can possibly cause gallstones or a gallbladder attack. So yes and no, right? There's been some, some recent research looking at the real relationship of, of dietary patterns and gallbladder and gallstone formation. And interestingly enough, they've found that uh, a low-fat diet actually um, had a, a higher risk of gallstone formation than the higher-fat counterparts within the study. Now, one of the causes of gallstone formation is the inadequate emptying of the gallbladder. Mm -hmm. And that's what we talked about before, that, that kind of that concentrating the bile. You know, if you're somebody that's been on a low-fat diet for some time, you may have some gallstone formation happening because the gallbladder just not really needed to work very much. Mm -hmm. The bile's always being produced, and it just gets more concentrated, more concentrated, more stones form. If you're this person and you suddenly switch to a high-fat, you know, ketogenic style of eating, that gallbladder is going to want to really work hard, push some bile out in the, into the uh, small intestine to um, to help digest that fat. In the process of that, if there are stones in there, it could dislodge a stone and get that, you know, kind of stuck in that bile duct. And then you're going to have you know, a big problem. It's going to be painful. And um, and this is where some of this blame for high fat diets and gallstones has come from. Yeah. So maybe not completely deserved, uh, but what if we don't have a gallbladder at all, right? So if you've had your gallbladder removed, you're probably wondering, can I take the high fat content that is naturally part of a ketogenic diet? Um, well, here's the, here's the thing. Bile is held in the gallbladder, but it's not produced there. It's produced in your liver. So your liver is still going to be producing bile uh, e even if your gallbladder is not there. And we've had people under our, our videos comment that they can tolerate some level of fat even without a gallbladder. And it's, there's different opinions there, but some people have said that, that it works just fine. Uh, we actually, speaking of comments under videos, uh, there was a, a gentleman, he was a, a diagnostic radiologist, and he mentioned that the body will actually shift in response to not having a gallbladder where the, the biliary uh, system of the liver will actually expand. The duct that uh, leads into the in intestine can actually contract much like the gallbladder used to do, um, even though you no longer have a gallbladder. In, in other words, the, the body adapts. And this was, a, this was just a comment from somebody. Um, uh, if, if, if you're watching and it was you, um, please comment under this one. But uh, it was it was just it was it was interesting and, and I do believe that the body will adapt to some degree and we do we did see uh, quite a few comments from people that said that after a little while they were able to tolerate more fat so so we do have some tips if you don't have a gallbladder here's a good way to go about it did you want to start so tip number one would be to kind of ease into this high fat thing you know a little bit more slowly than maybe jumping in with both feet you know, go, go to about 50% of your daily calories as fat and kind of make sure that you can handle that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, over time, you know, perhaps just a few weeks, you might find that your, your tolerance to fat begins to increase. And at that point, you know, you can start adding a little bit more fat and kind of changing those ratios a little bit. Yeah. 
Yeah, so you might not be able to jump right into a keto diet with the macro breakdown for, for a ketogenic diet, but that doesn't mean that you can't start low carb in an easier way into keto if, if your body is tolerating it. Another tip is to just eat smaller meals more frequently, which is a little bit counter of what we typically talk about with, with weight loss. However, your main objective is to get your body conditioned to this higher fat content. And if you're just eating smaller meals, you're going to be naturally taking in smaller amounts of fat, and allowing your body to handle that as it comes. Right, and I would also say that um, you might want to look at maybe using MCT oil, something like that, to increase the the, uh, the amount of fat in your diet. MCTs are, are, you know, they're small fat molecules, so they're they're easier to digest. And in fact, they don't even get completely digested. They go from the gut to the liver, where they're converted to, you know, ketones for energy. Um, now, I will say a little caveat with MCT oil. Um, if you've not used it before, I would start off, you know, with the teaspoon and, and a cup of hot coffee or something. They can get give you a little bit of uh, issue in the bathroom, mm -hmm. you know, if you jump in too quick. Right. So you're trading one digestive issue for another. So just take it a little easy on MCT oil if you're going to start, but you should be able to uh, get, get your body ramped up on that as well. Um, and then, of course, you, there are some supplements that can help you to break down fat. Uh, we think of ox bile. Uh, is, is one supplement that's popular, or just take a digestive enzyme that has a, a lipase component to it. Uh, lipase is an enzyme that breaks down fat. It's basically what bile is doing for us, but by taking the supplement with the food, it's like sending more troops into your digestive tract to help to break down that fat. So, uh, you know, this, is, this one happens to be Pure Encapsulation. We trust this brand, it's a good brand. Um, but the, any type of digestive enzyme would, would help with lipase in it. Yep. Really the bottom line to uh, whether or not you can handle a ketogenic diet with uh, gallbladder problems or without a gallbladder comes down to you as an individual. Every person is different and they're going to tolerate it in different ways. So there is going to be some experimentation, but just take it slow. Start with maybe 50% of your daily calories coming from fat, eat smaller meals, um, maybe try some MCT oil to give your fat content a boost and try a digestive enzyme and see, then give your body a little bit of time to adapt. Yep, right. I think that's it. All right. Hey, I hope that helps uh, if that is a situation that you're, that you're dealing with. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe to our channel to catch our next video coming up soon and we'll see you then. We'll see you.